with families who got through the night last night with just the light from their cell phone. That's all they had because once the lights were knocked out, they were completely in the dark. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson has their story. Last night I was scared in the dark that it was part of my roof. Jordan Christians, his pregnant wife and daughter, rode out the Oak Grove tornado in their bathroom. Shortly after we got in the bathroom, the lights went black and we could hear things hitting the house. Christians admits he wasn't ready. The flashlight in the iPhone was a lifesaver. <laughs> words George Holt dreads hearing. We have years worth of food, we have months worth of food, we have days worth of food, we have water, everything from bags of water to water filtration. He's Helping others prepare for the unexpected is his job. We also have people coming and buying flashlights and different emergency items of this sort so that if something does happen they know that that's already there. Better to have and not need than a need and not have. Holt says radios, flashlights, water and food for three days are a must for anyone planning to comfortably survive a tornado or any other disaster. Emergency preparedness saves lives. David Gervino with FEMA Region 7 encourages families to create an emergency preparedness kit and a plan of action. You have plans in place so that everyone in the family, whether you're all together or you're all spread apart, everyone's got a plan in place and they're ready to take action. Advice Christians humbly accepts so he's ready the next time the unexpected touches down in Oak Grove. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.